YouTube. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, whatever time it may be while you're watching this video. I appreciate you stopping by. Please subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. I do apologize if I look a little tired. Last night I was outside with the guys them and we had a blast. Today's video is going to be about red flags. This is red flags when you in a situation where you're trying to get to know someone. Now when I say red flags, I just mean red flags. Red flags are not deal breakers. Let's jump right into them. Some of these red flags are gender specific and some of them are just for males and some of them are just for females. And I'll clarify that along the way. This is for the guys. If one of the first things she asks you about is your zodiac sign, what time of the year were you born? That's a red flag. People who date based on when you were born. Oh, this person is a Virgo. Oh, this person is a Gemini. I don't date Gemini. Like, you know what I'm saying? All that is... It's ridiculous to me. Red flag. Guys, asking for a woman's Snapchat as soon as you meet her. That's a red flag to women. And that's lame too. Everyone knows what you're signaling when you're asking for a Snapchat as soon as you meet. Guys, always wearing hats. That's a red flag. It's, it's, it's kind of like you hiding something. Like you got something to hide. Like you covering up your face. You covering up your head. This is for both male and female. Bragging about material things. Yo, it's corny. Nobody cares what you have. If, it's, if a woman is bragging about material things, it sounds like she's extremely materialistic and that she probably wants you for some of the stuff that you have. If a guy is bragging about material things, it sounds like he has no substance. It sounds like he's lame. It sounds like he's just trying to get women based on the stuff that he has and not his personality. This is for both. If you're in the military, red flag. <laughs> red flag. If she got too many followers on socials, red flag. If she got like 20, 30, 40,000 followers on Instagram, red flag. Because what she do to get that? To me, that's one of the biggest red flags. If the followers is crazy on the socials, red flag. If she from Detroit, Brooklyn, the Bronx, the whole state of Florida, red flag. If she from Thailand, Russia, Eritrea, Ethiopia, red flag. I lived overseas for four years. And I met women from all around the world. And I'm telling you, those countries I just named, women from those countries, red flag. This is for both male or female. If they take too long to text you back, red flag. Why are they making you wait? It seems like they got other things going on that's way more important than you. And they can't take a couple of seconds out to respond to you. Now, obviously, people busy. And it's going to take time sometimes. If every single text that they send you is... Every couple of hours, every few hours, you're just not that important to them. It's a red flag. Now, obviously, in the very beginning, things are going to be different. But if it's always like this, red flag. If they don't exercise, red flag. If someone is not willing to take care of their body and exercise now, what is that going to do in the long run? Even if they look like they're in decent shape right now without exercising, it's not going to always be that way. Some years down the line, things are going to change when you start to get older. And if you're not trying to take care of your body, red flag. If she overdoing the makeup, guys, that's a red flag. Especially when they be in the gym with all that makeup packed on their face. Red flag. Because how you really look. If they're always talking about their ex, red flag. Yo, if you want your ex, go be with your ex. Nobody's trying to be compared to the last person that you were with. Red flag. Being rude and disrespectful to service staff members. That's a major red flag. How do you treat people who can't do anything for you? It says a lot about your character. If you're rude to people who have to be nice to you because it's their job. How do you treat people who can't do anything for you? Someone who has a hard time apologizing. Red flag. If you can't take accountability and apologize, it's that hard for you to say I'm sorry. Red flag. If he wear black Air Force Ones, red flag. If he drive an Ultima, red flag. If he or she is lazy, red flag, obviously. If he or she wears strap-up vans, red flag. Because why? What even are those? And that's all I have for the red flags. Please leave down in the comments if you feel like I missed something. What's a major red flag to you? Please let me know. I'd love to see a few. I appreciate everyone stopping by again for another week. My subscribers, my views, all of that is going up and I really appreciate it. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video with friends, try to get the channel out there more. I definitely appreciate all the love and support.
And that's all I have for today. Peace.